What's happening, party people? Hope you guys are having a great Thursday out there. I'm gonna jump on here real quick. Got got to share some stuff with you. Got to share some things. So I've noticed that uh, quite a few people are living in fear more than normal lately. And I'm 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 here. This live here. Don't don't just skip over it unless you want to. This here, this, this live here is to baby shake you out of your fear because it's not doing you any good. So much fear is going on in the world. It is not doing you any good. Stop it right now. We have fear of fear of all these things, right? Fear of COVID. Oh my gosh. You have to look at the silver lining and everything. All right, you have to look at the silver lining. You can choose not to, but how is that working for you? How is your fear over the last the last couple months, the last couple weeks, how is that working for you? It's not. It's not working at all. So, you got to drop the drama and stop. And I'm not everybody goes through fear, everybody goes through anxiety. There nobody nobody is not um uh not um whatever the word is. So I go through it, Steph goes through it, we all go through it. But right now, lately, there's been a couple friends that are just freaking ready to just jump off the bridge because their fear level is so up here. But it's not, think about it for just a moment, just stop and logically think about your fear. And your fear is not really anything that you can do anything about. If you are a religious person, and I don't care if you're a Buddhist, a Taoist, a, a Muslim, Christian, I don't care. Fall, if you are a religious person and you're living in fear right now, honestly, you should stop and think about your 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 faith. And you're not you're you're lacking in some faith, people. Seriously. Because if you believe in a higher power, even if you don't, there's certain things, the Stoics, there are things that you're in your control, and there's things without out your your control, you cannot control certain things festering about it, worrying about it. Just think about all the things that you've worried about that have been okay. A friend of ours, she put her house up on the market. Within a day it sold. Her fear was that they were going to be homeless. That was her fear that she put out into the world. A couple of days later, it fell through. She's not homeless anymore. The silver lining is always there. You have to find the silver lining. This whole COVID, COVID thing, come on. Stop watching the news. Everybody that I see on Facebook talks about fake news, talks about the propaganda of news media, whether it's CBS, ABC, Fox, CNN, all those crappy news channels. They're in it for propaganda. They're in it to scare you. You are falling right into exactly what they want you to do, to be, de be, to be dependent on them and unself-reliant. You have to take responsibility. I have to take responsibility. We have to take responsibility for ourselves and for our actions and what we do in our lives. And that way you will not live in fear because you are not dependent on somebody else's handout or somebody else telling you the narrative of what's going on in your life. So guys, I'm serious. Stop, please. Stop living in fear. It makes me sad that so many people, I mean, are really afraid. There's a lot of shit going on, but there's been a lot of, we're not the only people to deal with anything like this. And I'll be honest with you, the last pandemic, the last plague that we had was killing people and they were dead in the streets. You don't see that. Is it contagious? Sure, I guess. But if you look at the statistics, and I'm not talking about, well, no, this is opinion. No, just look at the statistics. Just stop and look at stuff. Nothing, there's nothing you can do. Yes, and listen to on Audible, Fortitude by Dan Crenshaw. You guys, you guys, I love you guys so much, but the fear mongers are out there and you're, you're playing right into their hand. It's unbelievable, guys. 
you've got to stop and just think a minute, just think. And here's the thing, right? When you buy something, you buy on emotion and then you think logically. When you watch the news, you're fall- they, 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 they sell it to you in a way that's going to create an emotional response. It's not logic. You and I both know that the news media only puts out exactly what they want you to see. If they want a rally to be popular and they want it to succeed, they are going to pan in on the four people that show up and they're going to pan in real close to make it look like they have more than four people and it's going to look like a hundred people. If they want a rally to fail, they're going to take those four people and they're going to pull back the camera and show that there's only four people. But it's the exact same thing. It's just the view. Guys, come on. This is not the first time that they've tried to pull this bullshit on us. We are the people of this country. You cannot live in fear. If you have kids, you most certainly cannot live in fear because they will see the fear and they will see the anxiety. They will feel your energy. And what are you doing? You're setting the next generation up to live with fear and live with anxiety. Does this mean that we have to have every single thing figured out? Nope. But if you stick to what you have, if you stick to what you know, and you stop and question everything... And just don't be spoon-fed the shit that everybody's given us. You're like, man, this just doesn't sound right. Well, if it doesn't sound right, it's probably not right. But if you just scoop it in and just pile it in and just be fat, dumb, and happy, pretty soon, it's going to be too late. I can't remember if it was Alexander Hamilton or Thomas Jefferson, but one of them said, government that's big enough to give you everything you want is big enough to take it. You have to decide. You have to be self-sufficient. If you're self-sufficient and you don't have to depend on anybody else for anything, you have the power. When you rely on other people whether it's your parents, if you rely on other people, whether it's the people around you, when you will have to rely on other people or you kind of just wait for your hand out, as quick as they put something in your hand is as quick as they can slap it away and not give it to you anymore. When you allow somebody that power, that's when you become scared. But if you are self-reliant, if you are personally responsible for every single thing that happens, good and bad in your life, there's no power. There's no, the, the power is gone. They can't take it from you anymore. There's nothing. Read as a man think it. Read uh, by uh, Victor Frankel. I can't remember the name of the book right now. About the Jewish Holocaust and being in a concentration camp. The guy was a doctor. He was living in Germany. He was very well off was stripped of everything. If you haven't, as a, no, it's not as a man think it. It's um, man's search for meaning on the shelf. A man search for meaning. You read that book, you listen to that book, and you realize they were stripped of every single thing. They had absolutely nothing. They had scraps to live on. They had scraps to eat. They were beaten. But it was in their mind. The ones that survived the Holocaust, the ones that survived the prison camps, those were the ones that were strong in mind, strong in will, and believed, put themselves in another place and believed and had faith that that was going to bring them through. The ones that gave up, the ones that lived in fear, the ones that lived in anxiety, those are the ones that died the quickest because they gave up on life. You cannot give up on life. If you have children, you cannot give up on life. You chose to have those children. You, you, you must be the leader in their lives to show 
that this is going to be okay, that things are going to be okay, that not every single thing in your life you're going to have complete control over. So you decide every day when you wake up, I'm going to focus on what I can control and I'm going to let go of the things that I cannot control and allow them to play out. And if you are religious, if you are spiritual, then you, you have a duty to fall back on the book, to fall back on the faith and believe that this is all part of the process. Because even now, with all the bullshit that's going on and all the crap that we're being fed, it's still not as bad as it was for the Holocaust. It's still not as bad as the POWs in Vietnam. It's still not as bad as other, other countries around the world. We still live in the best country in the world. There are rafts and boats coming in this direction. They're not going out. But we have to lock arms. You have to believe. You have to you have to have faith. And how quick, when things don't go our way, how quick we throw our faith to the side. It's like, uh, it's like Sunday, Sunday, uh, the, the, the people, I can't remember. I was going to say something. I don't remember what the, uh, what the quote is, but you guys got to stop living. You know, somebody will come in, somebody will come in and say, Oh, I was exposed to COVID. Okay. Did you get a test? Yep. What does it say? Negative. So what else do you want me to do about it? We're all going to be exposed, I guess, at some point, right? Otherwise, maybe you should just stay at home. Order from Amazon. Yes, exactly. Elected officials should remember who they vote for. You want to stop having, having elected officials you don't agree with? Stop electing them into office. I mean, we keep voting the same people in over and over and over again. What is the, the, the uh, what does it mean? Insanity? Keep doing the same dumb shit over and over again, expecting a different result. But we vote, we get all worked up, we vote, right? And then we go right back to our little lives. And then we're, oh, we, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that. Who did you vote for? Somebody's voting people in. And if you didn't vote, then just shut the fuck up. Because if you didn't vote, then what? But this is not politics. I don't give a shit. I don't ever voice my politics. Well, I guess I did the other day. This is about fear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's about fear. It doesn't matter your political affiliation. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter. Fear is fear. Fear is the root cause of hate and anger and animosity. Fear is a negative. It's a lower emotion of the human part. The spiritual energetic beings that we are live in a higher vibration. And if you live down here, you wonder why you're sick. You wonder why we have cancer. You wonder why you're, you don't feel good. It's because we have a constant state of fear, a constant state of anxiety. You get worked up. You have chronic illness. Your adrenals are going. Your white blood cell count is going up because your body thinks it's being attacked, but it's not really being attacked. You're in a sympathetic dominance mode rather than parasympathetic, so your body's in fight or flight or freeze all the freaking time. You're, you're killing yourself. You're fighting yourself. But you're pointing out the window saying, that's the problem, that's the problem, that's the problem. No, it's not the problem. Because if it was the problem, if you put two people together and they have the same experience, and this person is perfectly okay taking control, and this person is not, who's right? If this person becomes sick and, die and dies because of the same situation this person prospers in, are you telling me that this person is just better, better than this person? No. It's just this person lived in a lower vibration than this person. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. It might sound like I'm yelling at you, but I'm not. I'm from Eastern European. I'm a third generation American. My family fled Germany. That's why I think socialism sucks. Do not live in fear. 
I've seen what it does to people. Fear will keep you stuck. Fear will keep you stuck. And then right now, they got us. Whoever they is, they've got us. Because it's so easy to turn that fear button on. Well, Nathan, how do you live without fear? Well, boys and girls, I get anxious too. But when I get anxious, I stop, I do breathing exercises, and then I logically think, is this something I can control? Is this something, it, it, yes or no? If I cannot control it, I have to let it go. I'll write it down in a journal, think about it, and then I throw it away, I let it go. Is this something I can control? Then you have two options at that point. You can just allow the thing that you can control to just be out of control and, 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 hope, and put your head in the sand like an ostrich and hope that it goes away. Or you can actually man the fuck up and do something about your situation. When you allow other people, when you allow other people to be responsible for you, you've given up your power. If you want to, if you want to feel empowered, you do everything yourself. It's not that I'm, I'm not saying that you don't, you don't find your, your, your group, you don't find your tribe and you nurture them as they nurture you. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when it comes down to the liberties of your life, you need to fight for those liberties because no one else is going to fight like you can. Nobody else knows exactly what you want. Exactly. Hold yourself accountable and hold your core group of people that you'll ride and die with to that same level, that same standard. And if they're not willing to go the extra mile with you, then you leave them and you love them where they're at. But you can't be responsible for everybody. You need to be responsible for yourself. We talk about when we're getting a plane, whose oxygen mask do you put on first? Yours. You need to make sure your shit is squared away before you worry about anybody else. I have my own life to live. You have your own life to live. We're all just trying to do the very best that we can. But you're not even going to get close. You're not even going to get close to living the best life you can if you're worried and you're in fear all the time. You've got to believe. You just, you have to believe. We got out of the Holocaust. We've got out of some great atrocities throughout history. Probably can't remember a lot of them because a lot of people are trying to cancel our fucking history. But if you learn from history, then we won't make the same mistakes now. And the next generation won't make the same mistakes. But if you can't tell me the difference between a democracy and a constitutional republic. Damn. You have to know your resources. You have to know what you're doing with those resources. And use those to the best of your ability. To live your life the way you want to live it. But you cannot live your best life if you do not. If you don't take responsibility for yourself. You don't empower yourself. Rather than watching Netflix. Watching reality TV. Get some personal empowerment books. Get some personal development books and start working on yourself. If you want to be empowered... Work on yourself. Work on yourself first and then you can help people around you. Then you can inspire other people. Then you can motivate other people. And then we can all together, together, as one human race on this earth, we can all bring our level and our vibration up. When they divide us, whoever they is, when they divide us and we bicker amongst ourselves, they're doing dumb shit. They're doing shit behind our backs. But if we all stick together and we all build up our own vibration together, they cannot stop us. Nobody can stop us. But we all have a choice to make. Either you want to take on that responsibility 
of taking control of your own life, the good, the bad, and the ugly, or you just be a bedwetting crybaby with your chubby fingers on those Twinkies, sitting on the couch, eating Doritos and watching reruns of the freaking Brady Bunch and just checking out in life. And when you do that, you get what exactly what you put in, which is absolutely fucking nothing. With great responsibility comes great power. People get that, get that, that quote wrong all the time. With great responsibility comes great power. With great responsibility, taking responsibility for your actions and for your behaviors and for your thoughts and for your emotional vibration comes a great power. And that power cannot be stopped when you are 100% responsible of everything that comes into your life. It's not a certification that you can just get it one time achieve it one time and put it on the wall and say, okay, on to the next thing. This is a daily thing. Mental toughness is a daily thing. And just like, just like a muscle, just like your bicep, mm, check out that gun. It has to be worked every day. Otherwise you'll lose it. So I encourage you, I challenge you to lock arms with me in this. We are in a fight right now. I challenge you guys. And if you don't, that's fine. It's your choice. But do not bitch and moan about the shit that's coming if you're not going to take responsibility for yourself. You will get what you get and it's going to be fucking handouts. It's going to be it's going to be leftovers. It's going to be table scraps. Or you take responsibility and you go get you some. You have two choices. That's it. Two choices. We all have the same two choices. It doesn't matter where you're from. doesn't matter your background, where your family's from. doesn't matter what neighborhood you live in or what state. You have two choices. You can allow to be dependent on other people for your stuff, for your well-being and your happiness, which is not going to be great. Or you can take responsibility for your happiness, take responsibility for your life, and live at a power and at a level that cannot be stopped. It's going to be a daily effort. It's not going to come in a week. It's not going to come in a month. It's a progression. It's like pounding the stone. You take a stone, uh, 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 a, a stone guy, and he's constantly pounding the stone day in and day out. And everybody that's walking by is wondering why he's pounding that stone, and there's no action. But he knows by the time he hits 100 or 101, 102, that stone is going to crack. And he knows that. So he keeps pounding. Everyone else, oh, he's just, it's in vain. He's just not doing anything. But he knows he has faith. He has belief that it's going to happen. So I encourage you guys today. I'm just, I'm so fed up with the fear. I'm so fed up with the fear. I'm so fed up. Not that you're fearful, but that you're fearful. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. But we've got to stop it. you got to stop and ask, is your fear really real? Fear usually comes out of the past or comes out of the future. You're not, there's nothing to be afraid of in this moment. And when you stop and think about that, you're like, oh, I have nothing to be fear, uh, afraid of. My fear is coming from a past experience. Or my fear is coming from something that's going to be in the future that I haven't even experienced yet. And most of the time, what happens? We get all worked up about something and then it all works itself out. And you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I got... Yeah, you do that all the fucking time. I know you can't believe it, but I... Pfft, it's the same shit. It's the same rerun. Stop and logically think. Logically think. Emotions are so little. Emotions Emotions are, are of the brain. The feelings are of the body. And you can stop it. You can rewrite your genes. You can rewrite your physical and, and mental and emotional and spiritual experience. You can rewrite it. You can create anything that you want from this point forward. I've given you the power. I've given it to you. I pulled away the, cart the curtain. Now it's whether or not you take the, take the power, you take the responsibility. And if you choose not to take the responsibility, then you get what you deserve, which is nothing. Exactly. Unless you are in mortal uh, danger, fear should be a compass to your path. Exactly. 
So, my friends and family, I love you guys so much. Big hearts to you. Mm. Me and Steph do that all the time. I want you guys to not live in fear. I want you to live in empowerment. So I figured I had to get on here and just rant a little bit. Because I love you guys and I don't want to see you guys just go down this, this rabbit hole and get sick and physically ill. You got to stay healthy. You got to stay healthy mentally, stay healthy physically, stay healthy and, and, and get this. We got one shot at this life. One shot. Everybody wants us to live this mediocre life. There's absolutely no reason that you can't be in the 1% and you can't be just freaking awesome all the time. The only difference is the choice that you make every single morning when you wake up. Am I going to live awesome or am I going to live down here with the other 99% of people? Rise up today and be something. Do something so that you can have something more than you've ever had in your entire life. All right. Questions, comments, concerns, throw those below. Happy hearts, likes, wows, happy faces. Can't be upstairs. Throw those below. I love you guys. Let's do this. So, you guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, start strong. Finish stronger.